Ja, yeah. welkom bij Iron Noise. Nice Antifa of Golf Tango Foxtrot Oscar. So ja, yeah, disclaimer, we started working on this talk yesterday afternoon because a previously planned talk was cancelled. So ja, yeah, it might be a bumpy ride and will contain a lot of Dutchisms. Who are we? Well, who made this talk? <laughs> well, we, uh, and also Ransbach, because he, uh, we, we sent him a link to the, our previous slide deck and he was like, no, 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 you can't present this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and fix that. So he, instead of five minutes, he planned he spent one and a half hour writing our presentation. <coughs> yeah. So. Oh, so, perfect. So I'm a uh, Lord Blue. I'm a uh, nerd, a hacker. Um, I'm uh, from uh, the best hacker space in the Netherlands, according to Vrij Nederland and other sources. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what? Sorry. Uh, we didn't. We didn't bribe anyone yet. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see some pictures of me doing things. Nice guitar. <laughs> Thank you for the picture. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anneel Brouwer. Um, I'm also a nerd. Uh, you might know me from Batch Team stuff. I also created some software and I'm uh, also a member of the Cyber Onderzoeksraad. So, yeah. the background of this talk. As uh, said, um, we want to make it possible to... to um, discuss some things again. Um, we mean it well, good and everything with the hacker community. We're not here to say you shouldn't talk to that person or you should kick that person out or anything like that. Um, we try to see both sides of arguments, um, which is way more entertaining than you think, so please do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this doesn't make us uh, pick one of the sides. Uh, sometimes we just discuss the other side for, for more entertainment um, and we do this because we see the damage that um, it can do to the community and we love this community we hang around in it for uh, like uh, 20 or more years already and we are uh, we are now putting itself uh, on the front line with this talk and being it recorded and put on the internet so uh, always uh, fun always fun um, we're open to criticism so please uh, yeah, and also if you have any questions, don't wait until the end. Just raise your hand, and yeah, we, we might even give it. you a sticker for good behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go with the uh, antifla. Yeah. That uh, that was the thingy. Um, at um, I, I have the slides here very small, so yeah. sorry. Um, some German hacker that uh, was talking to some other German hackers that uh, told me that uh, Dutch hackers should be more politically engaged. Um, then, yeah, we hang around at CC Congress uh, and camp multiple years, and we saw much more of the Antifa banners being reused in Barista, Barista, Antifascista, and things like that. The Germans like FLA. Um, we always uh, have to import that them in massive amounts. And, um, yeah, and we thought, ah, we can, we can game this. So we played the game, and uh, 5,000 stickers and one banner later, <laughs> we won. <laughs> Designed by someone here in the room. Designed um, by someone uh, here in the room, <laughs> fought out by someone here in the room. Let's not mention names. It was actually, yeah, uh, invented in the discussion group for this event. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the CCC. Yeah, some background on the CCC. Yeah. Uh, 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 I have to uh, I mean, oh, yeah. It was founded in the, the, the squatting suburbs of uh, Berlin in the 80s. That was like what Amsterdam was also in the 80s. The West Berlin of the 80s, of course. Um... It was, uh, they created the yearly congress. First they started in Hamburg because it was actually reachable by people. Um, and they have space there. It's grown very, very nicely to more than 17,000 visitors. It's an awesome congress. Um, did I say small? Yes. Um, <laughs> damn. We should use larger fonts. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I, I, yes. I can click this. Yes, yes. This also, better. CCC has always been political. And that used to be political discussion but for to my uh, feelings it's become less and less about discussion and more about one point of view so then some dutch hackers seen this uh, uh, history because this talk was originally german versus dutch hackers so we do this part first <laughs> to just get it off <laughs> yeah <laughs> um anyway uh, yeah the dutch hacker scene kind of started with magazines like 
uh, hectic and uh, some meetings, club hectic, you name it, all those. Yeah, so mailing list from Time Wasters, Hippies from Hell, the, yep. p- 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 the, the nice history. And then there was a first camp in 1989, and from that on, every uh, four years uh, there has been a camp, and mostly organized at least every eight years by a completely fresh team of oh. people with a lot of overlap. <laughs> well, uh, also, the, um, the Dutch hacker spaces were kickstarted from uh, leftovers from Hard 2009, um, and the current foundation IFCAT, uh, which is a terribly long name. Yeah, how did you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we uh, still organize large-scale hacker camps every four years. So then, let's go back to Germany, because uh, yeah. For non-German people, it's a uh, it's a little bit harder to understand where this German Antifa comes from. Uh, they have some history with extreme right dictatorship. They have more history with extreme left dictatorship. Uh, we're here not debating on which one was worse. Both are are bad, and some are worse than the other. But let's not discuss this. <laughs> Um, and they have extensively um, um, got uh, the flashback from being spied on and be spying for um, a notice here. Oh. Click. Yeah. Um, they have extensively been been spied on. Um, yeah, it's very close to the Netherlands, but there's a different history taught in schools. Um, we get the, the 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 history of Germany in a different perspective than they get it. And also, hacker scene-wise, it's a lot easier to compare German hacker scene to Dutch hacker scene as opposed to, for example, the DEFCON scene in America. Yeah, it's uncomparable if you... <laughs> so, but, as said, the CC is German, and Germany is yeah just a line on the map, um, but it consists of way more lines on the map. There are, way, uh, there, there are a lot of diff- uh, different <coughs> communities. Um, they all have different opinions. They have a uh, different influence from where they live. Is it eastern, western, north, south? Uh, in the south, they have better beer, for example. Um, and if you think the differences between Limburg and Friesland are big, uh, to go and try out some German differences. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's not all the same there. So that's about Germany. No, they don't have all the same opinion. And you can talk with them and you can uh, inform them about your imp- opinion. And you can easily do that with a lot of stickers, for example. So, keep on discussing this. Yes, so, hackers and politics. Because, yes, hackers do a lot of politics. Um, yeah, but, yeah, hackers. Um, this is... What? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. So, anyway. <laughs> Hacker scene... <laughs> No, no that's, uh, this, this is Paul's notes. notes. It's yes. actually a lot of notes. No, 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 it's not a lot of notes. But, uh, um, um, important in hacker scene, scene, in our opinion, is the sharing of ideas. Uh, not just technical ideas, also political ideas. And to be able to share those ideas, you need an open culture of sharing. And people should not be judged on their opinions because those are to be debated and not to be directly criticized or at least... Uh, Banned. Um, discourse should always be protected. You should be able to, to talk about anything, in my opinion. And um, because in some cases that really doesn't happen, then you get a very vocal minority that just makes the rules. And the less vocal majority, or the silent majority, uh, or the silent minority, minority can, can also be, be. whatever, uh, <laughs> that doesn't get their say. Because they don't feel they have a opportunity to be able to discuss their point of view. So yeah. Um, so also be be welcoming to to new to new people to people who don't know it all to, to people who don't come by every other week um, who don't know the exactly not written down rule. Um, and ask a lot of questions again, like they did last year when they were there for the last time. So don't punish the lack of knowledge uh, within your community because it's uh, it's very damaging. Yeah. So. <laughs> note of. <laughs> That's good notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's four words. Yes. <laughs> no, no. 
No. Nou, um, ja, de governments of, of hacker uh, community, um, most, most hacker spaces and other hacking groups. Uh, first of all, start with the ha hacker ethics. Um, it's a well-written document from a long time ago, but it's still uh, reasonably uh, okay. So let's not debate the details of that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as we go there, there should no be be no absolute leaders. You shouldn't have the big front man who, who hangs out. Um, it should be, and it is, uh, in, in most cases, some mix between democracy, technocracy, and duocracy. So if you do something, yeah, you win the prize for doing it, and everybody else says, yeah, nicely done. Um, most are in the Netherlands. Most most communities are uh, self-organized, small communities of yeah less than 150 p active people, um, and that's very easy to to self-govern without too many rules. Um, the rules differ a little bit per community. Some have created a lot of rules. Um, in my opinion, that's entertainment source. <laughs> because every rule you can troll, some rules are not so good to troll, but other ones like don't be on fire, yeah, I've set him on fire. <laughs> he was and breaking the rules, yeah. Um, <laughs> there are pictures of that. Yeah, um, he was literally burning. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> very important also is that nobody or nothing should be immune to criticism. So but unfortunately, still in our uh, community, there are sometimes the so-called rock stars that a lot of people put above criticism until there is a yeah absolute reason to change that yeah <laughs> till people start creating websites twitter account and everything just notice the little german apple bomb on the right <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> do i need to say more no no, no. okay good just, just as an example, I mean, it's uh, yeah. Some people are free from criticism <laughs> for years, and uh, or thought everybody knows there's something wrong, and you better talk that out before it goes out of hand. So hackers and politics. Hackers actually do politics for a long time. They have been. and have been doing. Yeah. Um, and thanks to the internet, hacking goes way beyond the internet. Yeah, you can now educate the world. You can influence Facebook users. Uh, as a hacker, you can also do that. Uh, not, not me, and I'm not allowed on Facebook anymore by Facebook rules for reasons. I, I played the Facebook game, I won, and it's over. Um, <laughs> but you can also yeah, um, cr cr uh, uh, um, create awareness uh, about what, what you think is, is okay. Um, you can gather intelligence, influence people on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, a lot of people here are using Twitter to express their opinion, and that's a good thing, because yeah, they you can learn. Um, and you can also do that to keep your world, uh, country, family, or, or friends uh, safe, or just unsafe. And all these things work a lot better in a group than as a single individual. Yeah, if some people retweet your tweet, you get more impressions. It's very efficient. But yeah, with those uh, great powers also comes great responsibility because... Notice the Australian Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want yourself or your organization to be used in ways that damage others, unless you actually do want to damage others. That can happen. Um, and we have seen in the past uh, some organizations and groups being used as a way... Yeah, as an, an instrument of punishment, an instrument of revenge against other yeah. individuals. Yeah, or, or as an instrument to get your point through to say, yeah, but we had a hackathon with voting computers, so the now they're okay. And so <laughs> hackers have been, yeah, voting computers is a good example of hackers and politics. Yes, most of us have an opinion on voting computers because we know how computers work. Shitty. Yes. <laughs> so, then... Politics use hackers, as said, um, and that's a good thing and it can be a bad thing, depends on how you view it. Um, but I need my notes for this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that I wrote something down here. So yes, but it's very little. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's very little, but it's okay. Yeah, Come on. Go on. So I can have a good conversation I don't with. with about yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have an example question for you. <laughs> uh. um, yeah, um, 
is it for the greater good? Am I doing the right thing? Um, and it's always um, how you decide what's good and what's bad. And yeah, as seen here in the spectrums, there are no gray lines in the spectrum. Um, but yeah, this is all the visible spectrum. All thought the beamer is a little bit you know, technically handicapped. Um, and how flexible are your ethics? How, how much are you willing to deviate from, from your, your, your this is okay? I mean, is it okay to use voting computers for the election of party officials? Or are you also against it? Or is it okay to, to vote by email for points in your hackerspace? Um, that's not anonymous, that's electronic, everybody can spoof email and, and all things can issue. So, and maybe you're willing to have electronic voting there and not in, in the general politics. It's, yeah. And you always get, uh, yeah, you get influenced by your peers because it's every day said, yeah, but it's very easy to mail if we want to buy something or not. Um, you never envision that board members from your group will quit over this. Uh, and not just how much are you willing to do, also how much are you willing to take from others within your group, within your company, within your organization? Yeah, this is your slide. No, it's not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, sorry. this is my slide. He talks about it. Yes, and, um, <laughs> the last part. I <laughs> but yeah, the more convinced you become of your truth, the more you start to evangelize your truth, and you start fighting for your cause, getting people attached, etc. And the more you get into that kind of a groove, the less you are open to other ideas. To it's yeah, it's called cognitive dissonance. And for example. Um, the, the the social credit systems that yeah, are being yeah, rolled right. out. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you think of a social credit system, it sounds nice. Yeah, You get points when you help your neighbors, you get points when you repair the fiber connection of your neighbor, you get social sounds credit very points. very social. Yes, very social, right? And that's good to get points, and then you get to ride free on the bus. So but what about less able people, people who cannot come outside because they're sick? They don't get social credit points, they never interact, they never come to a group barbecue, so they can only get uh, negative points so they get a very negative social score they have to pay extra for the bus and yeah we already see disabled in wheelchairs as yeah, socially handicapped so that's okay um, I'm not so okay with that so those systems very should ableist. be burned yep. hack them to the ground that's my opinion please debate me on this <laughs> <laughs> so anyway we have a trigger warning but why I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> because inclusi inclusivity is a very good thing, right? Just get everybody on board uh, until you get some toxic people in, and then more and more toxic people in, and then all of a sudden your group is not your group anymore, but it's their group. So, yes. Um, what? Yes, what happened to you? What happened to your group? And also, be excellent to each other is not enough. Uh, a lot of people say, yes, be excellent to each other should be the only rule, but in my opinion, that doesn't work. Because you can still be excellent to each other and be doing a terrible <coughs> thing. Yeah, of course you should try to keep things nice, you, you sh should have the community uh, involved in, in what you do, but um, you also have to defend what you're standing for, and if somebody says, yeah, yeah, but... Um, you you need some rating system to to get in because you need we need to have at least this amount of a minority group or something. Is that okay thing? Are you going to exclude or are you going to actively um, get people in who are not really um, interested in your group, but you want them because then more of the other people can come in? It's it's a very uh, dangerous system to to think about and some things and but if your group is like yeah but we're girls only and we're only doing that and we don't want men near us can be fine I mean it's even legal so um, but all I think is this a good thing to do yeah. so someone uh, a lot smarter than us also thought about this a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> so yes be nice but not to everybody, yes, to anyone. But also set your boundaries. Yeah, if, if absolute power, that, that uh, absolute power always will corrupt. Um, you see that with governments, you see that with uh, leaderships, um, you change them. Um, if you now see large companies that change their CEO every uh, so often years, 
there's a good reason for that because um, the, they found out that absolute power that creates some corruptism and yeah, you don't want it. Um, and you, you also want to avoid um, that somebody can say, uh, yeah, but I'm the boss, so if you don't think like me, um, um, you, you are totally against me. If you don't do this, as I said, then you're totally against me. You can create a very black and white situation if there's no possibility for criticism. Yeah, people so. should always be enabled and empowered to discuss and confront behaviors that threaten your open community. Beca that kind of stuff should really be encouraged. And nowadays it's usually like, ah, oh, hush, hush, let's not talk about it because it's a very touchy subject. Yeah, but if <coughs> somebody, the big boss or the, so, uh, it says, but yeah, that's my friend, the, uh, he, she should be in. And the rest says, yeah, but it's a very toxic person, please kick them out. Then it should be an option to kick that person out. And uh, always think about that. So next time uh, I'm annoying, don't feel bad. Just say to me, please leave. Uh, Mendel, please leave. <laughs> oh, I'm gone. Like <laughs> also, yeah, be a, be a, a still on the. F Can we go back to the? Oh yeah. yeah uh, another thing that, in my opinion, is really important that uh, as a hacker community, we shouldn't attach other stuff to being a hacker. You can't be a hacker if you're not also a something something. Or you can only be a hacker if you're also a member of uh, Antifla <coughs> or whatever. You can so only be a hacker if you're member. Yeah. Try to keep the focus of your group on whatever you're focusing on and, and don't attach uh, a lot of stuff to it or at least don't make it mandatory to also believe or behave in a certain way. And also let people be, be free to, to say, yeah, but you only can be a hacker if you have visited hackerspace. No. We were, there were hackers before there were hacker spaces, so... Yeah. So, a future, is there any? Well, I don't know, NASA just discovered a meteor hurtling our way again, so... Yeah, if you think about the future for the Earth, we're not discussing it here, it's very depressing, and we can do that over a lot of whiskey tonight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but is there a future for your group? Um, did, did see this more. Um, if your group is changing, also think, is there a future for this group, or should we maybe restart it, create a new one? Um, We've seen hackerspaces where they said, yeah, we kicked everybody out for three months, then we rebuilt the complete space and let people join again if they wanted to, just to have a complete new start. Is that actually in the slides? No, No, that's not Who in the cares? slides. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, what is in the slides? Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, always make sure that um, you're, as, as a group organizer or, or as a group, that uh, your responses to incidents are proportional and appropriate. Timely, also very important, and don't just go like, ah, oh, you broke said rule you didn't even know about, now you're banned. For life. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Just bring back a bit of tolerance and make discussions open and possible. And yeah, do not use, uh, tolerate people that use demagogues and, and false truths to get their way, or at least... Yeah, yeah, or, try or, to or blackmail, <laughs> like, if you don't do that, if you don't don't go to a hacker camp, you're not a real member of our hackerspace. Yeah. And people How make mistakes. Yeah. People make mistakes, and if they show genuine remorse, please get them back on the flow. Do you already show genuine remorse for the slides from yesterday? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did you for the whiskey? Anyway. I didn't drink whiskey yesterday, it was port. But good. <laughs> Um, yeah, questions um, and discussion. Uh, we have an example question for you, if you don't know a question. Uh, Nido. I was promised some ducks. Where are the ducks? Uh, it's on the, uh, the event page on the site, yeah. on Hacker Hotel. <laughs> also, yes. say no to ducks. <laughs> <laughs> are you wearing anything under your kill? Would you have asked this question to me if I was a woman? <laughs> Good. Yeah, well. you would have. Well, well, yeah, then, then, then the second question: Do you really want to know? Do you really want to know the answer? <laughs> and do you want to have the rest of the audience also know the answer?
Ah, oh, okay, in that case, he's not wearing anything under there. <laughs> no, uh, for, for if you really want to know, join me in uh, my hotel room. <laughs> okay, so, any other questions or discussion points? Yes, Stitch. Oh, you're, I have to answer this question, maybe? Uh, yeah, possibly. Um, over the last 20 years. Over the last 20 years. Uh, just a few, and mainly due to drug abuse and other substance abuses. Yeah. Um, no, they, they, until last, they, they have discussed with people with different opinions, um, and, and some people have left. That's all fine. It's all within people tell, talking to each other, so that was not from a security perspective. Um, that's also been public on Twitter. Constance Kurz, uh, press uh, a, uh, spokesperson of the CC, has been discussing with some people and they left. Uh, that's okay. Um, this year I wasn't uh, at security and I saw a tweet of somebody being literally forcibly removed uh, for having uh, some kind of opinion. I wasn't in charge. And uh, there was a video yeah. of this this yes. time. I don't know if it was. That was pretty me. crappy. Uh, I was 